They don't have a chair for Skeletor. <laughs> Next topic, and this is quite new news for anyone who's interested, and I'd be one of them. And I think I'm going to let David do most of the talking on this because he knows more about it than I do, but I know a few things. So oh, this no, is no. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, double G. Yeah, shizzle with my needle. It's D-O-double-G, sir, get it right. All right, sorry. But, um, yeah, so as it was announced the other day that he – and what's the, he's, the name of his, um, what's it called? Death Row know, Records. Up. Death Row Pictures Records. Davey, take right, it away. Me, let me take it away because you over here butchering this shit. All right, so Snoop Dogg has signed on to be an executive producer of his own biopic. He uh, came into contact with Universal. They came into a contract together. If you guys don't know, Universal did the NWA movie. So Snoop Dogg has been waiting for the right writers, the right directors, and the right people to make his own biopic. And he has found it. He has, he has, uh, they've signed on the original director for um, Minister Society, the Hugh, one of the Hughes brothers. I forgot which one it is. Let me check real quick. Uh, no, 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 no. So John, John, uh, Joe, Joe. Robert Cole, who wrote the first Black Panther movie, and then also Alan Hughes is who directed Minister Society. So that's the director and the writer. So those are some big names tied to this project, to be honest with you. The writer from Black Panther and then the director from Minister Society. You say also um, did Dead Presidents. Did and Dead Presidents. Yeah. So they were good movies. I mean, Dead Presidents, were, Book of Eli. Yes. Book of Eli. Yeah. Denzel Washington. I actually really like that movie. I've watched it a few of Gary Oldman. That's a really good movie. So it's onto a good start here. Now, when it comes to Snoop Dogg, I really think he has something to say. There is a story to be told there. This guy, he, Hell yeah. he I mean, he's been through it. He was accused of murder. He's been in gangs. Him up, which is it Suge Knight? Yeah. No, Suge Knight. Knight. And, and all that kind of stuff will happen with, um, the murders and all that and i'm just saying is that you know and today he's a celebrity a likable fun type of a fella and whether you like rap or not you know who he is and he does come across as a pretty nice guy he's quite funny i've seen him at roasts and stuff he's actually quite funny like yeah, he's guy. funny as hell but he has a story to tell there is something i wanted to say about him just for you know so i need to confirm the actual when and how but i'll tell you what i know so a few years ago he was in the uk touring doing whatever i don't know what he was doing he was here and he was driving past a, a youth center where there was these kids and they were painting their young kids painting the youth center with like just trying to brighten it up he stopped the car and got out and spent the rest of the day painting it with them with no cameras around or nothing. I mean, like, you didn't have to, but can you imagine being one of those kids saying, I spent the day painting with Snoop Dogg? Like, you know, this That's guy really has cool. a story to tell. He seems like a nice guy. He's been through the all of it. He knows. So that's a film I'd like to see. And he has it. Because when you really think about it, you have his early life that a lot of people don't know about. So that's <laughs> going to be interesting as well. Yeah. Then you have the story uh, about him before when he got met Dre and assigned to death row and then all the crazy stuff that happened when he was on death row. Then you have the conflict he had with Tupac before Tupac died. And then you also have the conflict that he had with Suge Knight when he was trying to get out of his record deal and it ended up going to no limit. And then you have his career after that and everything that followed that as well. So, I mean, it's a hell of a story to tell. Yeah. As long as they do it right. But the director, as you said, did menace to society. Um, he's done um dead Book of Eli society. and dead presidents. Yeah, no, you mean like and they well, got the writer from Black Panther. Now it will be him partly producing this as well, right? Because it's a uh, death row pictures. He's getting involved. He's bringing death row into the movies, the movie business. I yeah. guess I didn't even know so, that. You know, they should throw that in the film too. By the way, we're also making money doing this too. But um, I mean, yeah, because that's pretty cool. He bought his old the old record label that he that originally put him on. So that's I mean, pretty cool. I I do think that um, he he's definitely one person a bio, biopic that I would definitely really be interested in watching it. Will they do it right? I don't know, but they have all the right elements to do a really good story and a great direct a good director, great character. 
and as i said like whether you like rap music or not it doesn't matter everyone knows who he is and he does if you see him in interviews and in on his own he's actually kind of a nice but he's approachable like he just seems kind of like he's funny he's witty he's, he's just a nice guy but yeah, he started a youth football yeah. league over here and he's there all the time that that snoop dog league he started a bunch of like little leagues in la and he had all of these rappers like sponsor a team so all these <laughs> la rappers sponsored a team and then like that's why we have all these different little football leagues out here like for kids so he's the big reason behind that he called it the snooper bowl or something like that is funny but he's he's a he's a he's a you know he's definitely an icon he's been around for a while and uh i still remember that first song was it that i know of was um snoop Pin and Doggy Doggy Dog. oh. that was i remember that wow anyway, wow 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 you be oh you be yeah yeah it's a good wow, but anyways wow, i said like i think it's Ooh. good but what do you guys think i mean do you do you looking forward to it or do you just going to give it a pass i will say this before i carry on there's been a few um, live stories recently that's come out and including Queen um, Bohemian Rhapsody that were not at all accurate. Now, I Snoop really... Dogg executive producing this one might change that. Maybe, but I really hope, like, when you watch it, when, when they do this film, they don't... And everything's going to be dramatised, and that's fine. We get it. It's a movie. But I really hope that they stick... Because he has a story. Just tell the story, like... Like uh, Freddie Mercury had a story. Tell the actual. I was hoping it like Elvis. Elvis you know? was such a fucking disappointment. That's what I'm saying is with Elvis, like it, there's just so many piss takes and changes and, and and overlooks. And I don't mind certain things, but then you're watching a film, you're like, this had nothing to do with the real person. What am I watching this for? This isn't real. This is just a movie. But I hope it's real. I hope they stick to the an, a legit kind of accurate story. But my question is to you guys: Do you want to see it? Do you care? Do you want to give it a pass? Do you hope it's accurate? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, as I keep saying, and let us know. See you all soon, you royal boobs. I can't wait. <laughs> mm.